okay our first question is that how we can create the stripe account it's very simple so just visit stripe.com and then here you can click on this sign in right so if you don't have any account you can sign up for this one right i'm going to click on that to uh, sign up button okay there is an option of uh, new to stripe create an account right it's very simple guys you need to mention the few fields you need to mention the email full name and a password and that's it your account will be created and whenever your account will be created then you can log in into your account and uh, when you will log in your account i'm going to log in this account uh, here in my another web browser where i'm logged in so when you will logged in so it will open the stripe dashboard where you can pull the stripe keys which is our main purpose to get the keys and then also see the transactions so here there is option of developers just click on this developers and then there is option of api keys click on that and here you will uh, see that there are two types of keys public publishable key and a secret key you can get this public key and then click on this reveal test key and get that uh, secret key too and then add this into your application and then we are able to uh, basically process the payments using stripe right so first we need the laravel 11 application so i'm going to walk through that how you can create the laravel 11 application so first you need to make sure that your php version should be 8.2 or higher otherwise it will uh, download the older version of laravel laravel right so i have when you will update your project update your php version you need to run this command composer create project laravel laravel and then you need to specify your project name and then this will pull the latest version which is laravel 11 right and in my case it's installed installed successfully and it's also created the uh, created my database right i'm going to now switch into my this project and i have also opened this in my here vs code by the way so here you can open this into your vs code and i'm going to create the uh, the database for it laravel stripe app and if i go here to my local host i have cleared those things i'm going to now close this and later on i'll get this out let me close these tabs okay uh, so i'm going to open the local host where i'm going to uh, basically open my database so here just click on this laravel and i have created this laravel uh, stripe app just to database here i clicked on that and i have created this database only i haven't migrated this right now right so here i have mentioned this same uh, same my email here and now i have also um, i'm going to switch this into my project laravel stripe app right now i'm inside it and i want to install the laravel cashier and first question is that why we need the cashier basically if you want to process the payment to one time and subscription based Laravel provide us a cashier uh, stripe package which will deal with the stripe directly so we don't need to uh, worry about that how laravel is working uh, behind the scene right we don't need to manually write the js logic to connect with the stripe and so on laravel will handle this in the laravel way right so that is the beauty of laravel and by the way i'm running this application here and now we need to install this package right so we have created this our account successfully let me uh, copy the keys from here i'm going to copy the key here okay i have copied the public key and then when you will click on this reveal test key you can copy this secret key and by the way mostly youtuber are talking that their key is very uh, sensitive right but in my case you can use my key right to process the payment if you are not sure but when you are made in the payment you need to log in into your stripe account and then verify that they are you are getting the payment so that's that will become an issue so you can do this in your 
and create your own account and then this will be fine okay so here how to install the cashier so just copy this command and go here and paste this out so this will install the cashier and by the way in the previous versions uh, previous older version of laravel cashier is um, by default installed but in the latest version laravel have removed multiple packages and uh, added out of the box when you need that you can install those packages right okay it's installed and generating our files so i'm going to move to the next step uh, here it says that you need to publish the migration using this command so this will publish the cashier migration which will create a few tables it will create a subscriptions table subscription items table and then it will add some columns into the user table right at that time we don't have uh, anything in our database so we need to migrate our database and then these column will be appeared but i'm going to uh, first install um, publish these migration and i'll migrate this at once here right okay guys it's installed successfully and i'm going to now run my second command here just copy that and paste this out i'm going to make this a bit more in the zoomer version okay something like this hit enter and yes it says that i have added the migrations and then you need to migrate your database okay click on this migrate we have already made the connection and yes these are now added and if i go here and let's get refresh to see that yes we have now got the subscriptions table and then subscription items table and in the user table there are few columns are added stripe id um, payment method type payment loss four digit trial and add right so this will help that to connect the subscription with the user okay our steps are completed and here you can also publish the config file if you want to right this is optional yes i have con uh, uh, I have added this config and then this one is now available right and by the way you can stripe is using by default these variable names so you can add them into your dot env file so just open dot env file something like this and then add them here and then paste your key right so I have copied them in the notepad file so I'm going to copy from there and then I'm going to also copy this secret key and then this would be the stripe oh, secret right let's paste this out and then we got this uh, two keys public key and stripe keys and uh, whenever you are going live you need to just change this here this one is starting from pk test mean that they are test keys and then when you will um, get the live keys so this will uh, show here pk live uh, pk test and secret key live live not the test okay and similarly when you will log in into your stripe so this will also show you the option where you can switch into the uh, test account and then into the into the test mode and live mode right so whenever you will disable this so this will now become in the live mode where you can create the separate transactions your products payments and so on okay it's we have installed this successfully and now we need to configure that because we want to make this our model billable so this will help us to easily do the things on our users end right if you want to perform the user transaction it will help us to first we need to configure those things how to configure this first we need to make our model billable we need to add this trait so if you are using a different model you can add this into your own model but i'm using laravel by default user uh, user model and one more thing here guys when you are adding your keys here in the env file you need to also add them into your services file here you can say that uh, uh, stripe something like this and then you can pass them something like this so key this would represent the public key and then env would be the stripe key and then similarly the secret so here env and then stripe secret right something like this stripe 
key stripe secret why i have added them here so let's say i need the stripe key so i'll pull that from the config file rather than directly accessing the dot env file why because dot env files are config and we need to manually uh, and these are config and when we are clearing the cache they are still not taking the effect so that's why we are doing adding them into the config so when we will run config php artisan config clear command so this will uh, clear the old values and uh, our new values will be reflected so that's why we need to always use this okay and now i'm going to go to the user model which comes by default and here i'm going to add this billable trait there are already traits so you can add the comma here and then add your billable traits right and your corresponding model okay then what you need to do here if you are using a custom model so you need to tell instruct the laravel that you are using custom model and define your custom model here right and this one is also recommending that then we need to set up the stripe key and secret key and then one which is missing is webhook so you can add your webhook right so at that time we don't need that webhook but you can set up the webhook basically webhook is a uh, you can say that when stripe fire any of the events so it comes uh, through the webhook and you can catch that event in your application so that's uh, that's that uh, those are very useful we'll talk about that cashier currency if you want to set up the cashier currency you need to set up those values right so i'm going to go to my env file and here i'm going to use my stripe currency here you can also use the usd which is by default and um, and other values so on okay currency uh, currency locale this one is used for formatting of our number that our number should be displayed all zero zero after the many like a number format as function is following okay and then you can also calculate the tax uh, using this one at that time we are not using the tax i'm going to skip this out so i will automatically calculate your taxes you need to add this into your app service provider uh, here i'm going to open this app service provider then you need to add this out here right okay and then next you need to uh, here you need to add the stripe logger what is the purpose of this logger when you will face any of the issues regarding the stripe so it will be logged automatically in the laravel application and then this stack represent that uh, let me add this here first and then i'll explain to you okay basically this stack is a log channel which is uh, comes with the laravel if you go to the config slash login dot php there are default channel which is stack right and stack is mentioned here it's using this and single daily and so on and by default it's using this single driver or you can say that single channel right so what it's representing that when you are getting any of the issues you can track them into the storage slash log slash laravel uh, laravel dot log and you will get all of the issues here right so your laravel issues and it will also uh, save your stripe issues too that's very awesome okay if you are using any of the custom model you can add something like this right but we are using the stripe and we are not using the custom model so that's why these these are provided by the stripe itself okay and then similarly you can also define your custom model here something like this as you are uh, doing this okay great we are successfully able to set up our uh, stripe uh, setup in our application we have added our keys and from the next video i'm going to start the one time checkout right checkout payment we will perform this using checkout session and then also do this using the form so in the next video we'll discuss about this one time payment right so hope you are learning this with the step by step guide and i'll start it same from the same page where you are seeing at that time now and um i believe that uh, it's strongly uh, help you to easily connect with me and solve your errors in the live environment so i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye